Hey guys, uh, this is Life with Q. Some of you may know me from my other video blog called Celebrity Talk with Q, where basically, you know, we talk about uh, recent news dealing with celebrities, you know, celebrity gossip, that type of thing. But on Life with Q, we talk about everything from serious topics, from current events, crisis situations. Today, we're going to talk about the uh, recent situation with Pastor Creflo Dollar. Um, by now, you know the situation. Uh, according to the newspapers, the police was called to his home and uh, where his daughter has stated that he choked her, punched her, threw her to the ground or, or to the floor or something to that aspect. He was arrested and uh, he spent uh, one night in county. The uh, bail was posted and he was released. Now on Sunday he got in front of his congregation and he stated that all is well in the dollar household. Um, I disagree with that. Um, I'm really proud of Reverend Creflo Dollar. I mean he's a true which I believe, in my opinion, he's a true man of God. Um, he's an educated man, and the Lord has blessed him uh, tremendously financially. I mean, you know about the beautiful homes. You know about the uh, beautiful apartment in New York City. I'm from New York City, so I can definitely confirm that there is some beautiful real estate in that neighborhood where he owns an apartment. Uh, you know about the uh, the Rolls Royce. You know about the other beautiful cars. You know about the beautiful cathedral uh, and the places of worship where he presides as the spiritual uh, leader, spiritual pastor and overseer. But all is not well when one of your children calls the police on you. Let me tell you something. Creflo Dollar has this mega big ministry. He's not just known in Atlanta. He's not just known in the state of Georgia. He's not just known in the country. But Creflo Dollar is known all over the world. I mean, they have outreach ministries. They have ministries that they feed the poor, that they clothe the naked. I mean, they have taken women off the streets and had made them productive citizens. I mean, that's a big, big responsibility. And a man with that type of love and with that type of obedient spirit, a man such as that, I mean, it's no question that he's going to have that same type, if not more love for his own family. Now, I don't believe that Creflo Dollar was wrong in disciplining his daughter. I don't believe he was wrong. Okay. Did he go too far? I don't know. I wasn't there. I can't not speak on it. But he was not wrong. A parent can discipline their child as long as they don't hurt them. This is where I disagree. What type of child would call the police on a loving dad? Wow. You know your dad has a major responsibility. Your dad has brought many people to the altar. Your dad has led crusades in other countries. What type of person would call the police on someone like that? Let me tell you something. A lot of children are suffering because Maybe their parents aren't the quote unquote idea parents. Maybe their father has problem with drugs. Maybe their mother has problem with drinking. Maybe their parents has provided a decent home. You know, nothing lavish, but decent. Maybe their parents supplies all their needs, but maybe their parents don't give them enough love. Maybe there's, I'm sure that there's children who are longing to have their father say to them, how was school today, son, when he comes home from school? I'm pretty sure that there are daughters who's longing to have a mother to say, let's sit down. Let, let me tell you about love. Let me tell you about a uh, relationship since soon you'll be having your first boyfriend. Okay. 
Now, I truly believe that uh, Reverend Creflo and Sister Taffy gives their children the proper amount of love. Now, this may be kind of harsh, but I'm going to give you the real, like we always do here. What type of child will call the police and embarrass their father like that? What type of child would do something like that? I mean, that's very, very disappointing. So this is why I disagree with Creflo Dollar when he says all is right in the Dollar household. That's not true. All is not right when a child can call the police on a loving father like that. Many children are lacking so many things. They're lacking the proper food. They're lacking the proper love. They're lacking finances due to their parents may not be in the financial condition to give them everything they need, and even some of their wants. Obviously, that young lady's not in that position. Obviously, the dollars, they uh, are financially secure enough for that young lady to receive her first card at the age of 16. They're financial enough to make sure she gets a proper education. They're financially enough to make sure that her wardrobe is intact. Most of all, to have a big, beautiful, comfortable, loving home. That's what all teenagers and children need growing up. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mega mansion. It could just be a fairly decent house. But nevertheless, that's what young people need. And we've all needed that. And it tells me a lot about someone who would call the police and embarrass her dad. So this is why I say some of you may be angry with me when I say I disagree with the Reverend saying all is well. I mean, it may not be crazy and haywire. They may love each other, but all is not well. You do research on anyone who has turned out to have a complicated life, and it starts when they're young. So I'm not judging her, but I'm saying what type of person would do such a thing. That was wrong for her. She should not have called the police. That was wrong. Why wasn't she concerned? She should not want to see her dad be arrested. And another thing I agree with Creflo about, he shouldn't have been arrested. The police should have just spoke to him, told her to go into her room, maybe them uh, stay separated for the night, and that was that. But to arrest this man, that was totally wrong. But I think the daughter was just as wrong for calling the police on a loving dad who has supported her and given her such a wonderful, beautiful lifestyle. Some of you may not want to talk about the lifestyle, but the lifestyle that the dollars live is beautiful. And young people needs that type of moral support emotional support as well as financial support so i'm going to ask all of you to keep his family mainly the children in your prayers because wow that that's that's not a good thing and only that only a certain type of person would do such a thing i'm not going to judge but i will say this that's not a really good person i know she's only 15 but where do you think these things start? They start in your spirit when you're young. Now, for you world changers, uh, congregation, I'm more of a, uh, I grew up going to church. I know all about church. I know all about the saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, speaking in tongues. I was an usher. I was a member of the choir. So I know all about church. But as an adult, I'm more of a spiritual person as opposed to just being a Christian. And don't worry, um, this is going to fade, this whole situation. Don't worry. Don't think your pastor is going to have this like real bad stigma, you know, on his reputation. Don't worry. Um, this is going to fade. I've gotten information from on high. A lot of you know what I'm talking about, that this is going to pass. Uh, the the rumors and the, all the confusion that this situation brought, it'll pass in a couple of weeks. So world changers. Congregation, don't worry, this will pass, and, and people are sort of seemingly just kind of forget all about it. But one thing I want you to do, okay, you keep his children in your prayers, all right? Keep him in your prayers. Because for someone to do that, 
to a loving dad, that's not a good thing. Okay. And another thing I want to say before I wrap this up. Okay. Nothing's for free. Everything comes with a price. Creflo Dollar has an extraordinary lifestyle. He has an extraordinary, extravagant lifestyle. Like I said, he has the private jet. He has the Rolls Royce. The family car, I can imagine, is uh, probably a beautiful Hummer. So he has the lifestyle, and nothing comes for free. If he has a lifestyle like that, that his family is able to enjoy, his family is going to go through trials and tribulations like everyone else. So for those who you who feel that he shouldn't be going through this, you're going to have to suck it up because there's nothing for free. Everything's bought with a price. Trust me, if God blesses you with certain extravagance, you're going to go through some trials. All right? So keep your family in your prayers. I know some of you are mad at me. That's okay. I love you anyway. Feel free to send a comment, and uh, we'll talk soon. Like I said, I have Celebrity Talk with you video blog, but that's mainly about celebrities. A lot of you spiritual folks may not be too much interested. And if you are, just go on and watch it. And then we have Life with Q, where we touch on everything. All right? So check it out. If you like Celebrity Talk with Q or Life with Q, you go on and subscribe. All right? Thank you guys for tuning in. God bless.